Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be checking out the demo for Card Shark. This is a cool little adventure game where it's encouraged that you cheat your opponents out of a win in, the, in a uh, card game. We are going to be a cheat. We are going to hide aces up all of our sleeves. This game includes profanity and depictions of suicide, death, violence, and gambling. It's not suitable for children. Wow. Okay, I hope my cheating doesn't cause someone to submit suicide. I'll feel very bad. I didn't expect that warning on this game, I'm going to be honest. Death, maybe. Like, maybe someone gets pissed at me and I have to duel them and murder them, but... Best experience with a gamepad, really. Okay, not what I expected. There we are. I am ready. Choose your difficulty, the gambler. Looking for a challenge, are we? Enjoy the story without losing a drop of perspiration. The con artist. Join a high-stakes world where only the elite will survive. I think I'll do gambler. Gambler's fine. Although the in the permanent death one would be fun. My dear player, it is with the utmost diligence that I must warn you against the hazards of this game. Uh, X? Uh-huh. Wow, this animation's so cool. It will teach you the secrets that will turn you as easily into a beggar as into a king. Uh-huh. I got a nine of clubs. It is based on the... Memorars San per oh, Okay, sorry, I'm not going to pronounce that right. Memorars San per Sans Parole. San Parole. A dangerous manuscript I unearthed in my beloved... Bukinist. <laughs> oh god, no, please, no one watch this. Of the nine Rue Blanche. Sorry, I'm not good at the French. Be careful as you play through these faithful events and unravel the destiny of the Forgotten Queen. Um. And the Jack. For here lies the work of the Devil. Alright. Oh, yeah. oh, I thought we were about to put it in our sleeve. Four aces. All began on a misty morning of 1743 near Pau in the south of France. God, I'm going to mispronounce everything. Hey, lad. Come here. Okay. Who me? Who, who, who am I? Oh, okay, I just press A. Okay. Does your majesty have a good nap? Frown or smile? Or, yeah, yeah, it was all right. You woke me up. Not that I care. Get to work now. Jeez, rude. Wow, this art style is awesome. I don't- I can't think of anything I've seen like this before. Hello. Let's, uh, rub that down. Come back here! Why, I was cleaning down the, the table! Jeez! What are you doing, fidgeting like a salmon about to meet the... croot? If you're about to have one of your convulsions, then you'd best make sure my customers don't see it. Come on, lad, you need to earn your keep. Urgh, we're just gonna be pissed off the entire time. Don't give me that look. Go serve the patrons. That's what I was trying to do! You, lad, come, pour me a drink. Uh, okay. Well, one sec, there was other stuff. I was washing down the table! Why'd you get mad at me? Jeez. Uh-huh, here you, here you are. Oh, don't do. Good pour. Yes, I'm the best pourer. Many thanks, lad. No, why don't you keep me company? Take a seat. Okay, calm to Saint Germain. I know Saint Germain. You were in Castlevania. Hesitate? We'll sit. That chair is fine. Okay. I will sit. This is pretty cool so far. I'm very into this. I couldn't help but notice your mistress is rather rough with you. Smile. Your character not talk. Can't you speak? No. I'm- I'm actually Hylian. A, a, a descended from heroes, actually. I have a green tunic at home. You can't? How fascinating. Indubitably linked to these seizures your mistress spoke of so fondly. The ancient Greeks believed people like you possessed prophetic abilities, you know. Load of nonsense, if you ask me. Either way, you struck me as an intelligent fellow. Hmm, would you like to earn some extra cash? No! <laughs> She likes to earn some extra. What happens if I say no? No. That can only mean yes. Wow, rude. 
Listen closely. Though there's money to be made, there's plenty more to lose. I'm going to play a game of cards tonight, and I'm going to win. Thanks to you. But before I explain my plan, I have a question. Do you know what suits are? Yeah, the clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. Yes. Good. On to the plan, then. You will serve us wine as we play and peek at my opponent's cards. Then you'll signal to me the best suit in his hand, whichever he has the most of. Okay. But how will you signal? Hmm. I know, after serving the wine, you will take your cloth and wipe the table in a particular pattern corresponding to that suit. That made sense, I hope? No. That's alright, it'll become clear as we practice. Let's discuss the wiping patterns you can use as signals, that's what I was curious about. For hearts, you will wipe in a clockwise circular motion. Uh-huh, hold Y and wipe, like so. Yeah, ooh, we really- that's a dirty stain. Dirty stain! Okay, we're good. Correct suit. If his best suit is spades, wipe in an anti-clockwise circular fashion. So this way, yeah, mmm. Dirty stain. If you see a majority of diamonds, wipe in a straight line up and down. Okay, these are gonna be hard to remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. And finally, if you see- if you need to signal clubs, wipe the table from side to side. I hope I can be reminded for, of this later. That might be what that question mark up there is for. Excellent, you seem to be getting the hang of it. I've thrown a lot at you, you I know, but should we try the next trick? No. That's fine, let's practice some more. Oh, no, no, no. Oh god, no, I didn't think this was gonna happen. Oh. Alright, we're back. Excellent, you seem to have, have thrown a lot you. Yeah, yeah, we can continue. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to say no to be stupid. I didn't think you'd actually, uh, Kepora Gabora me and make me do it again. Now let's try having you peek over my shoulder as you pour me a fresh drink. When you've seen my hand, signal to me the best suit. Ready to give it a try? Yes. Uh huh. I didn't actually see your your suit. Uh, uh oh god. What was heart? Uh sorry, wrong suit. Um strategies options. Oh god, signal the suit to your accomplice. Okay. No, that's not quite right, lad. Remember you need to signal the suit found on the highest number of cards. Let's try again. Sorry. I just don't remember what the signals are, so it's spades. Too much. Okay. I like wine, but not that much. Spilling wine all over the table is sure to make my opponent suspicious. Careful not to pour more than usual. Okay, this is gonna be a lot to keep track of. Okay, so you had spades, which was... Up and down? No. That was diamonds. Shit. <laughs> oh, that's not quite right. Oh, well, let's try again. Okay, at least I can try to pour better this time. Di you have you have uh, diamonds. Okay, good pour. And yeah, diamonds was up and down. There we go. There, there we go. Cool. All right. Lot to keep track of. Well done, lad. It seems we have ourselves a plan. My new strategy is the bottle of cohors. What an interesting concept for a game. Must say. I take it you've had enough practice. Yeah. Wonderful! Meet me back here tonight, and we'll see about making some real money. Cool. I will do just that, Saint Germain. Let's go ahead and wipe this down. It looks like you're wiping it down with a glove. Is that normal? Are they supposed to look like a glove? Whatever you wipe with? I thought you just have, like, a rag. Okay, no, it is just a rag, but it looks like a glove for some reason. Where has he gone? The gentleman who was at his tab at this table? Evasive. He didn't pay for his wine. I'll have to dock that from your wages. Oh, that bastard. Oh, that bastard. I'm gonna screw you up so bad. No, I'm not. Wouldn't be able to progress in the game. Later that day- God, pretty. Uh-huh. I'm in luck tonight. You, on the other hand. You'll probably die soon on the gallows or of the pox. That'll depend on whether I embrace your principles or your mystery. <laughs> so mudslinging. Be careful, sir. My apologies, I spoke in jest. Let me reveal your cup. Okay. Guards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm here. 
How much do you want to bet? How about five leaves? Leaves? I'm gonna guess it's leaves. I don't think it's livres. Livres, leaves, leaves. I'm gonna say leaves. I don't know, honestly. Yeah, sure, bet. I'll bet that much. Reminder, performance anxiety? The reminder section is there if you need a refresher on the technique. Okay. Or, you have hearts. Okay, what was... Sorry, what, what was, um... Hearts. No, 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 I need to know the, the, the turning things. Damn it. Okay, I think hearts was the first one I did, so I think it was... Yeah, okay, there we go. There you go, there you go. Round one. Hell yeah, give me that moolah. What? How did you do that? Just the look at the draw, my good man. A drink and everything will be forgotten. Yes, here you are, here you are. Times two. Bet. Bet ten, yeah. Uh, hearts. Good pour. Alright. You just have a bunch of hearts. This is so interesting. This is such a cool concept. I'm so into this. Put that grin off your face. That sort of setback happens, every, happens to everyone, my good friend. Only yesterday I lost a fortune. You know what I did? I had a drink. Allow me. Okay, you're being very suspicious with all the drinks. Young man, fortune favors me. I think I deserve another drink before we keep playing. Would you be so kind as to refill my cup? Sure. Many thanks, lad. I'll say when. Uh huh. When? You played the first round well. You. Okay. You've played the first rounds well, lad. But look to our opponent, and you can see he's starting to get suspicious. Uh huh. I fear it won't be long before he's had enough. Uh huh. Yeah. Damn, we've been scuppered. Oi, what are you two whispering about over there? Nobody cheats me, so there wasn't anything I could do, right? I was just pressing A to advance the dialogue. Was I supposed to press like B and back away or something? Nobody cheats me. Or is this inter is this teaching me the dual mechanic or something? Uh oh okay, well that's they're ragdolling. Stop it. Hey, quit it. Everyone calm down. Please nobody needs to get shot here. Okay, Colonel. What the hell? Don't leave us with the body. That's unfortunate. Forgive me, lad. I got a bit carried away. Why didn't we just stop talking so that they didn't get suspicious? Law will soon be upon us. We need to go now. That odious fellow appears to have let this purse. How careless. Oh my god. Well then. God, this is such an interesting game. I was playing the demo for this because I was like, I, I think I'm going to play the other two things um, that are coming out on the second. But now I'm like, oh my god, this is so cool too. I'm a great believer in only worrying about those things we have control over. And we have no control over this craft, therefore we should not worry. Come to St. Germain. Okay. Camp of the Cascarots, Agen, France, the following morning. Agen, Agen. Irenio, my friend, do you hear that in the breeze? Rustle the leaves in the murmur of the nearby brook? Yes, our good friend the Comte has come. Comte? Comte de Saint Germain? Probably means counts, if I had to guess. Count Saint Germain. I don't know, though. Might be wrong. We will stop here for a while. Why? The gentleman who killed your patroness is Colonel Gabriel, commanding the Bairn Regiment. It won't be long until he accuses you of this murder. What? I'm afraid you make the perfect scapegoat. Your animosity with the deceased is well known. You are poor, young, and mute. And you fled the crime scene with a notorious thief. Me! But do not worry. We are safe here. This is the camp of the Cascarots. They are friends. They don't talk. 
And like all the other Romanian friends, they fall between the cracks. They're invincible. They're, they're invisible, a bit like you. Cool. Thanks. Make yourself at home. I need to talk to the magician. Okay. I suppose. What a nice wagon you have. Hello. Yeah, how we doing? Uh, friendly, scrutable, aggressive. I mean, I could just- this is the demo. I can just be a weirdo. Hey, screw you! Uh... Impatient. Looking at the clouds, smiling foolishly. Yeah, let's, let's just be crazy. Now let's smile. Are you done making faces? No. <laughs> good for you, good for you. You're the new pet of our dear Comte de Saint-Germain. No, don't answer that. My name is Irineo Funes, cheat and humble artist of the shadows. Trick my fellow man for money and adventure. You like to learn magic? Refuse. Suit yourself. Okay, maybe I should. Not a big camp, is it? You like to learn my trick? Sure. Thought you might say that. Okay, new trick. It's called Three Card Monty. Oh yeah, I know all about Three Card Monty. Uh-huh, gotta find the queen. During the Hundred Years' War, an English lord lost the entirety of his estates over this game. Which is a very English thing to do. This is also a very easy game to cheat at. And he threw himself off the White Clo Cliffs of Dover. Which is a very French thing to do. So follow closely. Do you see the queen here? Yeah. I'll put her here. Yep. Now follow the queen closely. Uh-huh. Yup. Show me where the queen is. The queen is B. Damn. Because you tricked me. Magic, isn't it? It's a simple trick, really. All in the motion, the flow. Yeah. I forgot exactly what the trick with Three-Eye Monty is. I've seen it before, but... Trust you understood all that. Why not show off what you've learned through the magician? Cool. Wait. Uh-huh. Fine. There's a bit more to it than that. I was playing with you. Show you how it's done. That's right. Start by flipping the cards over. Yeah. Good. Pick them all up and show them to me. Uh-huh. On time. Now for the important part. The secret that makes it work. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's how it is. You switch the cards. Then. Yeah. Look at these, look at these Xenoblade Chronicle timing inputs. You can either play fair and put the queen down, or cheat by putting down the card behind it. Uh, cheat. What'd you choose? No, don't tell me. Not for the fun part. Mix them up, but be careful to keep a good rhythm. Whoop. I screwed that timing up. Stop, stop, stop. You're performing here, understand? That means everything has to be the right place. Too fast and people won't want to bet. Too slow and they'll know you're a cheat. Keep the rhythm and let's try again. Start by flipping the cards over. Sorry, I screwed up. Yeah, yeah. These Xenoblade timings. Boom. Boom. Wait, I missed... Wait, I missed that? Okay, so wait... Yeah. I'm trying to get the perfects, but maybe I should just screw that and just go for whatever. Okay, now there's perfects. Okay. Now for the important part. I wasn't sure where to do it. I thought the perfect was in between the white line and the, like, gray space in the middle. But no, it's right, right on that white line. So you can make work. Do you either play fair and put the queen down or cheat? Okay. Kablooey. What'd you choose? Don't tell me. Now for the fun part. Mix them up, but be careful to keep a good rhythm. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm... Damn it! Okay, trying... Trying for the... Trying for the perfects is screwing me. Okay. Just... Just... Just go. Just go. There we go. Okay, no. There, it's actually way nicer than I... How is that perfect? I'm not even close. Boom. 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 Okay, yeah, so... Wow, the perfect is way more forgiving than I thought it was. Alright, now take your time and swap two cards. Make it look deliberate. Boom, boom. Time for me to choose. That one. That was a six. Get wrecked. Very good. I didn't even see you cheat. Think you're ready now. Boom! The three card Monty! Got a new way to cheat. And swindle people. Let's go.
Alright, into the cart. Have to go rip somebody off. McGregor is probably after you already. Well, it's not the uncertain hand of chance that has me in this dump. Glad you appreciate my hospitality. At least it smells better than Versailles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come in, boy. I was waiting for you. On the three-eye Monty, you. Yes, scrub, meet the magician, and I'll wait outside. Okay, cool. Howdy. The calm seems to think you have abilities. Trick me. Sure, I can do that, I suppose. So, kablooey, kablooey. Uh, I'm going to cheat. We are going to do B, X, B, X, B, X, B. Done. And uh, we'll swap A and B. There you go. You think it's that one, huh? That's a six, doofus. Magnificent. Do I have a way to show you a trick then? I'm going to teach you how to read an opponent's mind. Prove it to you now. In fact, I'm so confident in my abilities, I'll put 40 leaves on the line. I'll take that as a yes. Pick a card, any card from the deck, and place it on top. Yep, okay, this one. Remember which one you chose? There's 28 of these, jeez. It's a lot. Okay, so pick a card, any card. I'm going to choose the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. Good, the card you get chose is on top and you remember it. Yep. Excellent, now pick a number. Let's say between two and five. Three. All right, now watch this. I'm going to shuffle the deck and then cut it. Mm-hmm. The Ace of Spades. Abracadabra, I know where your card is in the deck. Remember the number you chose? Watch. One. Two. According to the number you picked, the next one should be your card. Boom. Is that your card? Yep. Good, because there's no way I'm parting with my coins over that. And relax, you owe me nothing. The comp told me of your origins. I can see that look in your eye. It's always the same. I want to know how I did it. I'm willing to explain, since you showed such promise with three-card Monty. Alright, so I've chosen my card, the Ace of Diamonds, and placed it at the top of the deck. For the time being, let's keep it simple. I'll choose the number one. That means all we have to do is keep the Ace at the top. Let's see what happens if you start shuffling. So shuffle. As we first start mixing the cards, you can keep an eye on the Ace. But if we keep shuffling, we quickly lose track of it. Damn. Let's reset the deck and see what we can do differently. Start shuffling again, but only drop a clump of cards once. At this stage, we know that the ace is at the top of the pile in your bottom hand, but if we keep shuffling, we'll lose it. Suppose you're wondering how I keep track of your card when I shuffled and cut the deck before? Hmm. You're right, to look suspicious. The trick is to put a marker next to our card so we can find it later, even after more shuffling. You do this by dropping one card onto the pile and offsetting it slightly. This is called in-jogging. Remember it well, boy. In jog. That's it. Now you can shuffle the rest without worrying about losing the ace. Uh-huh. I see. Yeah. And now we know. Great. Now we know where the ace is. But we wanted it at the top, not somewhere in the middle, so now what? That's where cutting comes in. We can feel for the in jogged marker with our fingers and cut the deck at that point. There we are. The next card down was our ace, remember? So when we recombine the piles, it'll be back at the top of the deck. Sure will. Why trust me? Let's allow the cards to do the talking. Voila! As if by magic, the ace of diamonds back at the top of the deck. See if you understood that. Try shuffling and cutting, making sure the ace gets back at the top by the end. Okay, so... Uh, we gotta do this. Then I gotta in jog. And then, now we can shuffle some more. Good. And then... Cut the deck. Put it up. Let's see if you got it right. Boom! Looks like the Ace of Diamonds to me, well done! Would you like to practice it again? No, I'm good. No? Alright. Let's take this trick up a gear, then. Think about what we've learned already. By the end of the trick, we wanted the Ace at the top of the deck. And sure enough, we dealt out some cards and the Ace came out first. The real trick is a bit more impressive. You'll let someone else chooses the ace's position. 
See, boy, giving your target the feeling that they're in power is the key to pulling the rug out from underneath their feet. So with that in mind, imagine I'm your mark and I've chosen the number four. You'll n you need to offset the ace with three other cards. I see. That means when you deal, the ace won't be first, but fourth. I'll teach you how to add these offsetting cards whilst you shuffle. Whilst. Oh god, hiccup. Let's start as we did before. Shuffle some cards down once, just like earlier. Uh-huh. Good, now before in-jogging, we need to offset the ace to the correct position. Drop three more cards, one at a time. Okay, up, up, up. Great, now create yourself a marker by in-jogging. And all that's left to do is shuffle the remaining cards down and then cut. Shuffle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is a pretty simple one. There we are. Cut it. Boom. Looked alright to me. Let's see, shall we? Boom. One. Two. Three. Four. There's the Ace of Diamonds on the fourth card, just as planned. Impressive work. Now before you go running off trying to impress everyone with your newfound wizardry, here's some advice. Nothing more embarrassing than messing up a magic trick. So keep practicing. Now remember, I get to choose where I want my card to end up. Neither me nor anyone you show this will pick the number four just because you learned it. So pay attention to which number is picked and only offset the card that far. Let's have the number three this time. Okay, so you're gonna have me do it. So one, two, three. Oh shit. Oh shit. Mm, I chose to see a mistake. Yeah, shuffling. Pass them over to me. Okay, there we found it. Uh, time for another try. Okay, let's have the number three. So, let's do that. Let's do one, two, in jog, shuffle. There we are. And then we just cut the deck and we are good. Time to check. Boom, boom, boom. It's a diamond's exactly where I asked for it. Well done. Would you like to practice it again? Move on. Very well, you seem to know what you're doing. You're a quick study. The comte has done well. Alright. Thank you. What is this? Okay, but there was another way over there. Hello. You tricked the magician. Indeed. I hope you didn't sign away your soul when I've been working so hard to earn it. What? Oh, come on, lad. It's not like you've sold it to death itself. So you're part of the family now. We share everything here, including our gains. Everything we give to the camp will be given to good will be given a good use. It's like a poor people's bank. We support the elderly and the ones who can't work anymore, like Irineo. I also hope that one day we could use that money to change things for real in this country. Ah yeah, cool. I will give twenty leaves. Your half of the money is yours to spend how you want. We would appreciate if you could spare some for our cause. Uh, consternation? Uh, sure. Boom. If I give, uh, that much, you'll be angry, and I'll be happy. Yeah, sure, I'll do you. I'll, I'll screw you over. Thank you, that's very generous of you. We're all done here, we should keep moving. I guess you're mad because I donated more than you. Journal, find a record of your adventures. Okay, so can I go do some more stuff now? Yeah, I guess so. How about we go to the manor? Oh wait, no, I don't have enough money for that. Alright, Parliament's Cafe. Let's go here and see what we can do. We're heading to Toulouse. City on the verge of hysterical frenzy is the best place to make a profit. Agreed. Well, city would be busy, noisy, and distracted. We cannot let this opportunity pass. Before I get to explaining our next strategy, do you need a refresher on the card values? No. Good. The magician showed you a technique that allows you to maintain and offset a stack, didn't he? Yeah. Whilst you now have a strong foundation to work with, the technique has some flaws. Fiddling around with the deck of the table is just too risky. How about... how else can we stack the deck? Now, yeah. You'll use something I call the full harvest. You will collect cards at the end of the round, so they sit favorably in the deck during the next one. Picture in your mind how the cards will fall if you're the dealer. Because I'm sitting to your right, I'll be dealt last. That's where we want high-value cards. Pick up the card clumps in an order that ensures I'll end up with a high card when you deal. Uh, so... I see, so... 
I'm first, then this person second, so we want... Uh... There's no way to pick it up where... Because if I pick up this... I want you to get the jack, right? But you're in fourth. Yeah, there's not a way for me to do that, right? Uh... Okay, we got eight and four. Uh, oh, okay, there we go. So I press the direction I want the first card to go. Perfect, I'm guaranteed a lovely strong card when you deal. You're doing well, lad, but it'll be a bit more complex in practice. There'll be many more cards on the table, and I am a greedy boy. Make sure I get the- get three high-value cards this time. Okay, um... Aces are not high-value, right? I- I- I've- I've really only ever played Blackjack. That's all I really know about. So... Um... Aces... Yeah, okay, let's do two, six, seven. That's fine. Yeah, what? Yeah, no, there we go. Okay, now I want you to have the king. Yes. Do it. Cool. Um, now... Okay, we're at you, so... Yeah, let's do this, and go to... There we go. You got a jack. And we're at me. Let's do... Those two. And then let's do... This. There we go. King, jack, king. There we are. Well done, lad. Would you like to move on to the next part of the plan? Sure. Good. Imagine you've just collected the cards from the table. God, this is getting really involved. Maybe it's a good idea I didn't LP this. I would- I would make so many dumb mistakes. Imagine you've just collected the cards from the table. Think about how we arrange them and how they'll be dealt out. I get- I said maybe it's a good thing I didn't LP this, but the game's not out yet, so... The correct thing to say would maybe it's a good idea that I'm not planning to. But this is fun, though. This is really, really cool, actually. Think about how we arrange them and how they'll be dealt out. Every fourth card will be dealt to me. Thanks to you, they'll have high values. Uh-huh. But of course, we can't start dealing just yet. We have to shuffle. Oh, God. Or pretend to, at least. Let me introduce you to the art of ineffective shuffling. Drop some cards. Don't leave your stack behind. Okay. Our favorable stack is now at the bottom, still in order. The rest of the cards will pile up on top. We eventually wanted to bring the ordered cards back to the top, undisturbed. To help with that, we need to mark where they are in the deck. One card poking out the deck should do the trick. This is called in-jogging. Yep. Suppose this all sounds familiar. Yeah. The magician taught you well, I see. So, in-jog. Well done. Now drop the rest of the cards on top. This makes it look like a real shuffle. Cool. Yeah. Good. Now you'd offer me, uh, you'd offer for me to cut, since we're such fair and honorable players. There you go. Watch how I use my fingers to find your in jog card. Yeah, there you go. Then you can combine the cards by putting the bottom pile on top. We're so cheatsy, dude. Oh, look at us. And that's it. Our ordered cards are ready to be dealt out. Impressive work. You understand the plan then, lad. Gather discarded cards in an order that ensures a favorable deal. And pretend to shuffle before leaving me to cut the deck. Let me scatter some cards down on the table and you can rehearse it. Okay, so now we gotta do this again. Jeez. Okay, well, um... Let's do this first. Yeah, that looks good to me. Boom, boom. And then, uh... Let's see. That's good. I'll get a queen, you get a king. And then, um... Okay, we're back over there. Let's do the eight. And then do this pile over here. Boom, boom, boom. And then... Uh... Oh shit. That's not gonna work out, is it? You're still gonna have mostly good cards, though. A nine isn't... Eh. There's no nice way to do this now. Can an ace be good? <laughs> here, take the ace. Let's find out if it- okay, an ace is still good, yeah. It, it did list an A up there too, so aces do still count as good. Okay, so aces, kings, jacks, queens, that's what you want. 
because those are all the good cards, so it's opposite of Blackjack, because Blackjack, uh, aces are a one. Alright, so... Now we cut... In jog... And then shuffle... Or, or no, yeah, we're shuffling, in jogging, you cut... Okay, yeah, see, I, I, I get it, I get it, it makes sense, it makes sense. Look at us shuffling. Perfect. Three, the disheveled gatherer. God, this is getting in depth. I know we'd be combining them all. We can wrap up and before rest before our arrival if you'd like. Yeah. Great. I will fetch my quill and you can show me your vows. See the capital, we've arrived. Remember, the stakes are getting higher, lad. We cannot be discovered. Okay, I'll do like one more thing here. And we'll probably end this episode off. I usually end things at 30 minutes, but I'm having too much fun and I wanted to do more stuff. Jean-Baptiste Leron de Lambert. But... You are cheating. Reassuring. Please don't make that face. Sir, I can explain. I'm truly happy to make your acquaintance. You are? The nobility is full of scammers and cheats, but they are mostly inept amateurs. Real con honors are a rarity for good reason. Voltaire, come here and meet these gentle homes. Yeah, Voltaire, come over here. Come hang out with us, we're great. What is it, my young friend? Don't you see I'm too busy for your games? These men are cheats, professional ones. Cheats, you say? Truly corrupted souls, how interesting. Monsieur Voltaire, I respectfully disagree. We simply teach men a justified fear of cards and gambling. And we get paid for this humble service. Does sound like an elastic conception of virtue and morale. Replay to test your logic. Oh yes, please cheat again. Alright, yeah, let's show you nerds. Come on, Voltaire. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll bet all my money. Wow, you're rich. Okay, so I have to ensure that you get the good cards. Okay, well, this will go perfectly. What a... Oh, fuck, I did it the wrong way. Shit! Oh, I'm a fool! Oh no, it went the wrong way! I thought- I thought that was how I did it before! Well, damn it all. Um, okay, go this way then. Boom, boom, boom. And then you're going to get the jack. I must have hit the wrong direction, that was my bad. Uh, alright, so... Now... Shit. Boom. Oh, I screwed up! Oh wait, no I didn't. No I didn't. Yes, I did. Shit, fuck. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I screwed it up. I screwed it up for sure. Alright, um, let's shuffle, let's in jock. See, this is why I'm like, it's a good thing I didn't, um... I didn't decide, uh... T to, uh, LP this, you know? I'm just gonna screw things up. When push comes to shove, I will screw things up. Around lost, boom. You afraid of cards yet? Not yet, I'm sorry to say. You afraid of gambling? How could I be? It's so profitable. Very well, come. To the edifice shall have to wait. Indeed. Until next time, Masseurs. I screwed up. I thought I pressed the right direction because you press like right to deal them that way, or whatever. Let's go. Let's go back. Oh, but I'm all out of money. The barn. Oh, I gotta do over here. We're broke, lad. But I have a plan. Remember that trick you learned at the camp, Ricard Monty? Yeah. Just as well. We'll be putting the trick to use in a couple of hours. Maybe my joystick put the wrong direction in or something. Because you pick which way you want to deal the cards based off of ref right or left. I thought that was how it works. But, whatever. We're going to draw a crowd by pretending to play. Then when we sucker someone in, I'll encourage them to play round after round. They'll win some, we'll win some, the stakes will raise. And when our purse is fattened to your liking, we'll leave with a coin. Sound good? Sure. In short, we'll sometimes need to lose if our opponents get too suspicious. Stay vigilant, I trust your judgment. So I just have to find the queen and I double my money? You, young sir, have yourself a deal. Okay. So you're not, um, suspicious yet. So let's, uh, go ahead and cheat. And boom. Boom. Bang. Bada bing. Boom. Got it. And I just have to switch some cards. There you are. What do you got? Oh, I thought this would at least be hard. It's this one. Are you sure? Damn, I swear I had it. If only I could afford to bet again, I'd surely beat you. Someone must teach this boy a lesson on my behalf. 
on my behalf. All right, I'm sold. Run it again, I wanna make a wager. How's 10 sound? 10 sounds great. All right, cool. All right, B. So I gotta make sure I don't piss you off. So I have to lose sometimes, but we can play this pretty crazy. At least I'm good at this one because it's just hand-eye coordination and timing. So boom, boom. There we are. Hmm. It's that one. Is it? Boom. Nerd. Okay, you're a little pissed. Damn, you got me there. Can't be losing money at games like this. The wife will boil me alive. Let's play again, eh? Doesn't look too interested, friend. Might have to sweeten the deal for him. All right, I'll bet double. 20, come on. I need to earn it back. Sure. Phew. Right, I'll beat you this time. All right, so you're betting double. I have to win, so I'm gonna have to cheat again. But I don't think you'll leave just from one more cheat. I think we're good here. Yeah, what an interesting idea for a game. This is so cool. God, indie games are great. Just all of these interesting ideas that can come to fruition. Hmm, it's that one. Uh, no, that's six, friend. Sorry. Thank you for the money, though. Damn, you got me there. Give me a chance to win my money back? Uh, just 40? You're gonna, you're gonna do 40. Uh... No, I think I'll just take 30 and leave. Sorry, friend. Oh, come on. Play again, coward. Nope, sorry, I got my money. Okay, so let's go see if I can win this again. Sorry, I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. A ship to Toulouse was a disaster, lad. And Evan Volter, a discerning pair. This time we'll need to put on a real show. Uh, no, I'm good. Very well, I'll leave you be. I just want to give it one more shot and see if I can not screw it up this time. I'm cheating again, just a little bit to make you happy. Friends of the cheaters. Yeah, come on. Uh, how much would you like to bet? Um, I'll bet 10. Because I'm not super confident in my abilities here. All right, so I can guarantee you get a jack here. I just press to the right. Okay, it dealt correctly that time. Yeah, see? Weird, why didn't it work that one time? Okay, so... Um, if I do you, and yeah, go ahead and deal that way, and then do you, and then I can give you a queen, there we are, and so if I press to the left, will it deal how I think? Yeah, there we go, see, I, I think that one time I did it, it just pressed, like, the direction was wrong on my, uh, thing. Uh, all right, so do that in jog shuffle 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 Here we go. Go ahead and cut the cards Thank you Saint Germain There you go everyone enjoy round one cool I didn't see anything you're really good I ask you a question Please do you play to earn money or do you play for the mere pleasure of tricking your opponents? Neither each game I play is just a brick in the edifice. I'm building each trick is an element of a larger plot. I play patiently, slowly, until I can trick the sun. Like you, Monsieur de, Monsieur de Voltaire. One letter at a time, one idea at a time. Till the whole world changes. Uh, yeah, sure. Bet even more. We'll just do 40. Yeah, yeah, you're not happy now, are you? About to rob you of all your cash. Uh, okay, so... Let's do this. And then this. Okay, I'm gonna have to go fast here. Boom. Yeah. Uh, right. There we go. Cool. So, next I want to do... Well, shit. Uh... Let's do this and do it this way. Ah, fuck! Oh, wait, no, that was right. Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. Um... So, I can't get you all jacks. Sorry, friend. Yeah, no, the things are kind of screwed up now. Um, sorry. I cannot get you all the things you need. Can you still win with two? Um, oh god. Oh god. Uh, 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 in jog. Uh, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay. <laughs> Stressful. All right, no, 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 see, you didn't see anything. 
Shut up. We are so good. Wait, how did I- Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't get all the cards I needed. That, that was... Yeah, you don't have a lot of time. It's, it's time pressure and everything, and I am not good under pressure. I am awful under pressure. So, this is uh, probably not the best game for me to LP, but it is a fun game. Any cards yet? Not yet. Blah, blah, blah. Is it profitable. Farewell. All right, we'll be back. Going back to go play some more Three Eye Monty. All right, yeah. Nobody wants to see me actually LP this. That would be a disaster. All right, but this was a very, very fun demo to play through. Card Shark is very, very cool. So, I'll put the link to the game in the description. In the description, if you want to try it out yourselves, and I'll see you next time for something new.